and I just got a very special delivery. Our principal is providing a special Thanksgiving luncheon for us. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Tuesday, November 13, 2018. It is the start of another school week. This one leads all the way up until next week, which is only a two-day school week because it's Thanksgiving. So today, the students are going to catch up by finishing some assessments that they didn't quite finish on Friday. Wow, my voice went really low when I said that word. So I meant to say, if you didn't catch that, they were not quite finished with those assessments on Friday, so they're gonna finish those today. And hopefully I can get the rest of the students to present their natural disasters presentations. So yeah, it's about time to let the kids in and my hair's already up. It was down when I came in, but I guess the AC in the school was off all weekend. It was a three day weekend and my room is hot, so I put my hair up. Anyway, time to let the kiddos in and start our day and I'll catch up with you later. All right, so now it's my lunch time and I have to say we spent the morning just catching up on finishing our Wonders Unit one week four assessment. The students finally finished it and as they finished, they went ahead and they completed their agamographs that they hadn't already completed them and then we started on writing I'm going to show you really quickly what I have been doing with this particular writing prompt that I'm dedicating some time to because like I mentioned before in my previous vlogs this is our first opinion in a while and two it's our first two-part prompt that we're actually working connected to one of our wonders story set so let me show you this I have previously shown this little booklet which introduces the prompt and I had the students do APT 123 on it and then I had them gather their evidence from their three sources on the top and then after that they went ahead and they completed a writing plan. This is the first one of these foldables that I don't do the writing plan for them. I had them actually create it themselves by drawing the circles and the boxes etc. This is my plan that I modeled. Then after this, on another day, we went ahead and I had them write their introductions to that particular prompt. And this is the one that I had the students go all around with the karaoke mic and share their introductions. And then I highlighted the different parts of it that they need to include. Then I made sure they were working on finishing this foldable. This is in my TPT store. And again, our body paragraphs start with a transition followed by a reason or idea. And then we support that reason or idea with evidence and elaboration. And over here, it shows what evidence is, what elaboration is, and I have my sample here. Now, what I did today was, in addition to allowing them time to finish that, I had them go ahead and start transferring their introduction from the index card to a handwriting sheet of paper with lines. So this is my introduction rewritten. And then I went ahead and I had them start to take their paragraph that they had created in their tree foldable from here, piece it together into their actual line sheet of paper. Students that were done with that were then encouraged to write another body paragraph to support their opinion on this particular topic. So I went ahead and as they wrote, I wrote. So this is the one that I modeled. This is about the second idea that I had, which is actually on my plan. It looks like the third idea, but I decided to make it into my second idea. So I have it written here with the transition, my idea, and then I started with elaboration, evidence, elaboration, evidence over here again, and elaboration, evidence, elaboration. So I wanna show them how we continue to add evidence and elaboration to fully explain our idea. So from here, the students are just gonna continue working on this tomorrow, and then I'm gonna show them and teach them how to write a good, effective conclusion to an opinion essay. So that's basically what we worked on this morning for writing. I also wanted to give you a brief update on my bulletin boards, and I can't show them really close up because my science bulletin board has the students first and last names but you can kind of get an idea so over here i have previously shown you my spiders which are my area model spiders what i did different is i finally added the title to show what this activity is and the standard that it's connected to and over here is the moon face activity i know we did it a little bit ago but i wanted something new 
on our science bulletin board and I did create a title for that. Let me give you a close up of that title. So here's the title for the moon faces along with the standard, the Florida standard that goes along with this activity. And here's the title for the spiders and the standard that goes with that activity. Over here, I put together the students social sciences sort that they did a while back. I wanted something different on our social studies bulletin board. So this they did in groups and they sorted the pictures based on which pictures were related to which social scientists. And I also put the standard up there. So that's basically what I did. And we're gonna be working on something for this bulletin board this week. This is our reading and writing bulletin board. So yeah, that's basically all the updates that I have for you from this morning. And now the students are in lunch. I'm gonna eat my lunch right now. After that, they have PE. And then after PE, we're going to finish our chapter four topic assessment, which reminds me, let me go to my agenda so I can check some things off. So we already did our daily language arts warm up. I'll link down below where I got that from. The students are still working on this. I've collected a lot of them already and some of them are displayed outside. They were doing party, which they also do when they're done. We just finished the wonders unit one week four and we just worked on these two. Wait, we didn't do this. So this we're gonna leave for tomorrow. So we're gonna leave that for tomorrow but they were working on that one. So now we're at lunch, then PE, and then for math, this is what we're working on. For social studies, I'm gonna show you what I mean by this review game when we get there, and here is science. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and eat, and I'll catch up with you probably at the end of the day, if not during my planning time, but you'll definitely see me before the day ends. See you later. Okay, everyone, so I'm super excited because I'm sitting here during my planning time right now, the students are in PE, and I just got a very special delivery. Check this out. You see that big box right there? That is my stage from Classy Stages. And I'm gonna open it up and show you how it looks, put it in front of my classroom, and the students are gonna be so amazed and surprised and so happy when they see it. They have no idea that I purchased this. So let's open it up right now and set it up in front of the classroom. I'm like beyond excited right now. Let's do this. All right, so here we go. I have my scissors, we're cutting it up being very careful not to go so far deep inside and cutting the sides. Oh my goodness, I'm like so beyond excited right now. It's like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, everyone. I've been wanting a stage for so long. It's not even funny. And I wish people in my family were more crafty, but hey, if you can't find someone to make it for you, the next best thing is find someone on Etsy who's willing to do it and does it. Sorry. I'm like totally like trying to open this while holding the camera. So I'm working with one hand holding the camera and the other one, here we go. I don't know why I was cutting that side. Anyway, oh my goodness, check it out. It is beautiful. All right, I'm going to take it out of the box and put it over there. Obviously, I'm gonna make some space. These are books that were donated by a parent and I still have to sort through them and make sure that they're appropriate for my fourth graders to then add them to the library. So I'm gonna move these to the side. I'm gonna make this a little bit better and presentable and put the stage right here. I'm so excited. All right, let me go ahead and do that now and I'll check back with you after I'm done. All right, so there it is. I don't know if I wanna bring it up closer to the front. Let's see. Okay, so here it is. Um, now I'm going to try and step on it to see if it's too close to the board. So here we go. Ooh, this is fun, but I think I'm gonna move it more this way. I know you can't see me. Hi, I'm here. I'm gonna move it a little bit more forward. So let me go ahead and do that. Oh, I already got it dirty. Oh no. Okay. I think right here is a good spot. I know you can't see my face, but I'm here. So here it is. This is the stage. It is so neat. It also has storage. So here it is. These are storage. And this is so cool. That's really nice that they have this rope so this uh, top doesn't go all the way back. So it just stops there. And this is really good storage. I'll show you close up so that you can see it. And I already see I got it dirty. Oh no. All right, here we go. 
So yeah, I already got it dirty with my shoes. I'm gonna see if that can come off. Maybe I can just wipe it off. But in the front, I decided to put the quote, dream big. And here is how it looks on the inside. So that rope holds it there in place. It has some good storage inside. And this is their big stage. So this is the biggest stage that they do sell. Now, if I have the money later on, I'll probably buy another one so I can put them next to each other so it's a bigger stage. But for now, this looks so cute. It's so nice. It's a little mini stage in the front of the classroom. And whenever I'm not using it, I can just put it up against the wall or to the side because I do teach from my board a lot. But there it is. How awesome is that? I am beyond excited. All right, so let me finish what I was working on during my planning time, and I gotta get rid of all this box and packaging. I'll see you later. And I'm back, planning time not over yet. I just wanted to say a big thank you to Michelle Ferre at Pocketful Primary, who was the first person to share about classy stages, and she got herself a stage as well. I'll link her video in the description box below where she shows that she got it. I'm so glad that I was introduced to classy stages, and I just finished cleaning it. I know you saw that I stepped on it and I got dirty, but I just passed a Clorox wipe on top of it and it's pretty clean right now. It's still drying, but it's gone. So I can stand on it. If it gets dirty, I can just wipe it clean. It looks so adorable. And yeah, having a little stage is better than having no stage. So now I have my own little stage that I can double up as storage and I can't wait for the students. Oh my goodness, they're gonna be presenting their natural disasters presentations today. So if they want, we can set the stage off to the side and they can present while standing on the stage. That'll be fun. All right, so let me continue on my planning time and I will catch up with you later. Another thing that I want to buy now that we have a stage is like a red runner rug and we can put it in the front. That would be cool, right? So as you saw, the students were practicing their elections vocabulary meanings and the words using Kahoot. I made a really quick Kahoot quiz and it actually had similar questions to their quiz on it. They worked on teams because I don't have enough laptops for the entire class. So I just grouped them according to their own color teams, as you saw. And it was great that the Kahoot gave them an option to put a nickname. So for a nickname for each team, I allowed them to put their first name in there so that we can see who was part of which team and there were some technical difficulties and some of the kids were getting frustrated but i told them listen the whole purpose of this is not to beat one another is just to review the concepts that you're going to be tested on and since they did such a good job overall they earned 20 points for every single team so that's what they got last week red and blue won the team points so i will be giving them a reward it's not going to be the same reward that i gave to blue team last week it'll be a different reward which i forgot to go over today so i will tell them tomorrow and right now i just changed for girls in the run and i also forgot to mention i am wearing a new shirt from t turtle again i'll link them down below and it says the book was better love the shirt so true i absolutely agree with this all right so i'm going to go ahead like i said to girls in the run and i will come back and complete some other things that i need to get done Oh, there was another thing. Today is World Kindness Day, and my students were gonna do a little writing activity on a fall leaf template that I'm calling Falling Into Kindness. 
Yeah, I love that. I'm sorry. I'm all about the puns and the cute little titles. That'll go in this blank bulletin board behind me. And we didn't get a chance to do it today. We did talk about World Kindness Day. We have been talking about kindness all year long. But tomorrow for Do Now, along with their warm-up, they're just going to go ahead and write their paragraph on their leaf template. I will show you the example after I come back from Girls in the Run so I can show you what they're going to be doing. And yeah, that's what we ended up doing today and what I have planned for tomorrow. Tomorrow's Wednesday. We also didn't get to our natural disasters presentations because some of the students took a little bit longer finishing their tests and I want to make sure they have enough time to do the best job that they can on those assessments. So now that everyone is done tomorrow, I told them after our do now, we'll start working with the natural disasters presentations and see how many students can present tomorrow before we dive into unit two week one in our wonders series. So, so far we're starting to catch up, but that's where we are right now. All right, let me run to girls in the run and girls on track and I'll see you afterwards. All right, so it's the end of Girls in the Run, and I'm very proud of myself because I achieved my 10,000 steps for today. Fitbit let me know, and it was very exciting. I didn't even know it was coming, so I'm so excited. I just said that too many times again. <laughs> I think that's my coined word. I have to like look back at videos and see how many times they say the word excited. It's like interesting. No, I'm not gonna do a counter for this one. I've done that in the past too. All right, so right now I'm actually gonna get my things ready to go. But first, before I leave, I do have to get a very important paper done before I leave so I can submit it to my AP and then I can leave. So let me just do that. I don't think I need to say anything for today. So I will see you tomorrow. Wait, never mind. Totally won't see you tomorrow yet. I forgot I was going to show you what I was planning to have the students do for World Kindness Day. So the falling into kindness activity. So let me show you right now what I put together. All right, so this is the falling into kindness activity where they're going to write an opinion paragraph. Here are the directions. Basically, they need to explain why kindness is important and what they are going to do to spread kindness, not just today, but every day. So these are the steps, and I gave them an example for a topic sentence. So they start with a topic sentence. They follow it up with at least three supporting details that explains why kindness is important. They need to include at least one sentence explaining what they will do to help spread kindness, and then they're gonna end with a conclusion sentence. And this is the leaf pattern that I put together. This is from Krista Walden. And what I did is on PowerPoint, I just added some lines so the students can have a writing space. And then I used my Promethean board right there to trace an outline around there. I just used my Promethean board pen right on the Promethean board because it is a touch screen. And up here, there's a draw with touch option. And that is how I drew the outline of it so that students can cut around it, but they can color the outline, whatever color they want, a fall color, of course. And then I also went ahead and I included a sample paragraph. Kindness is important because it helps others feel appreciated and fills them with joy. And then I went on to include three details. I think I included four. And then I included my sentence, how I will spread kindness, and my conclusion, if everyone does their part and shows. Haha, -ha, instant revision. Shows. And shows a little bit of kindness every day, the world would be a better place. Yeah, I make mistakes, people. I'm not perfect. Never have I said that. Mm -hmm. So my next thing is I'm going to see if this fits on the leaf itself. I have the leaves right here. They came out. This is how they came out. So they take up pretty much the whole entire paper. So I'm going to go ahead and try and copy that paragraph on here and see how it goes. I just noticed that they won't be able to really indent their paragraph very well because of the shape of the leaf. But that's okay. All right, let me go ahead and copy that paragraph on here and then we'll see how it comes out. Experiment time. Let's do this. And would you look at that? The whole entire paragraph that was on here fit onto the leaf. Now, I don't know if it's because I write small. Hopefully the students are gonna be okay because the lines are small. So hopefully their paragraph will fit in there. I also chose not to write on the space. The students may or may not want to either because I thought it was going to be a little bit awkward that I will continue over here, but it's okay. And I did try to do some type of gradient going down, but, you know, it's just the word, you know, trying here. And, yeah, I was, like, trying to add a little bit more here, but it's okay. So, yeah, this is the leaf. Maybe... I will go over the stem over here with a little brown crayon 
and maybe the rest will be white or maybe I can color it with a very light yellow just so that it can fill the white and take it out a little bit but how cute is that and they'll look really nice on our bulletin board so that's all I have for you for today and I'll share with you what happens tomorrow Wednesday which is middle of the week day so see you then Hello everyone, welcome to Wednesday, middle of the day week, or middle of the week day, I can't get that right. Anyway, yes, it's the middle of the week, and it is November 14th, 2018, and I'm coming to you at the end of the day because it's been a very busy day, but the students today, as you saw in the previous clips, were able to present. I had five students, actually six students, present their natural disasters projects today, and as you saw, they were using the stage. Well, most of them, one of them preferred not to, which is fine, and they also had access to the karaoke mic if they wanted to use it to present, and they had the clicker that I have an automated clicker where they could stand anywhere in the room and advance their slides. So we did that. We also went ahead and started working on our chapter five factors and what I did to help them out so that they could complete today's do now problem which was part of study hall I gave them study hall this morning to kind of work on their homework I went ahead and I explained on the board what a factor was I made sure they knew that it was different from a multiple and then I gave some examples of factors and multiples and showed them how to use rainbow factorization yes the rainbow is upside down but that way they can see how easy it is to come up with factors and the fact that we just finished chapter four which is division really helps them because they need to divide that number into the number they're trying to find factors for in order to see if it's actually a factor of that number anyway i ramble but we just finished at the end of the day with our falling into kindness activity which the students kind of started working on and you saw a couple of clips of some students working and writing their topic sentences for and here on top of the desk you see i had the students leave their leaves Oh, that's funny on top of their desk so that when they come in tomorrow morning they can continue working on those we also started unit two week one and they absolutely loved the story of the fisherman and the cowbird and they were able to instantly find the theme so yeah that's what we've been doing i wanted to do more recording of the students working but i started to feel lightheaded and kind of weird i'm still feeling kind of off i feel like there's a slight pressure on the top of my head and then i got like really dizzy to the point that i thought that i was going to faint which was weird but but anyway, I digress, but hopefully I'll feel better. In a couple of minutes, our principal is providing a special Thanksgiving luncheon for us. So I'll be sure to include a couple of clips of that. I'm very thankful for her and for our staff. I am very blessed to work at the school. I've worked here for the past 11, 12 years. And yeah, my son, when I started working in school, my son started kindergarten in the school. And this school goes all the way up to eighth grade. And now he's across the street in the high school and he's in 11th grade, so that's crazy. I've been here that long. Anyway, I'm going to grab my things and start heading over to the cafeteria where the luncheon will be. So I will see you later. Oh, but one more thing before I go. I wanna show you what we added today in our math notebooks. So let me show you that. So today in our math notebooks, we added the standard for factors, which is maths for OA is operations and algebraic thinking 2.4. And it goes not only over factors and finding factor pairs, but also knowing the difference between primer composite numbers. So I had them take notes similar to what I had included on the board. And then we practiced finding factor pairs using Rebecca Rojas' resource. She is Create, Teach, Share. And I'll link her down below. But this is what we added so that the students can practice finding factor pairs. And again, they noted the difference between a factor, factor pair, factor, factor, the whole thing is a factor pair. So they found the factor pairs and that's what we were working on. I also briefly introduced them to common factors because they'll have homework tonight and tomorrow night to work on that. But they can also work on homework tomorrow during study hall again, which I'll have for them. And they can ask me questions related to any of that. Tomorrow they'll take their mid chapter checkpoint for chapter five because it's a very short chapter and I see that they're understanding the concepts. And if there's any students that are not understanding, I'm just gonna walk around, do one of my clipboard cruising checks to make sure which students are understanding understanding the concept and which students need me to remediate. All right, so now let me get my things together so I can go to the cafeteria. I'll see you later. 
And as I'm getting ready to go to the cafeteria now, I almost forgot to mention that I am sporting my brand new Lily Pop lanyard. This is the Tropicana one that I pre-ordered from her. It was one of her first pre-orders that she did. She makes these polymer clay beads herself and they're all handmade. And these are just so amazing and precious. I just finished buying four more lanyards from her from her last restock. So I'll make sure I'll link her website and her Instagram below if you want to check her out and grab yourself a lily pop lanyard it is beautiful she's truly truly talented all right let me go to this thanksgiving luncheon i've been delaying it long enough let's get some yummy food All right, everyone, as you saw, that luncheon was amazing. The cafeteria was beautifully decorated. The food was so delicious. And we definitely took time to thank our administrative team and all the teachers that helped put it all together. I, like I said, I'm just so grateful to be part of this family here at our school. So now I'm actually getting ready. The day's not over yet. I'm gonna go across the street to the high school because there is a special event tonight where the high school is opening its doors and allowing students from fifth all the way to eighth grade from our school to go over with their parents and tour the school. And our school has a booth there. And one of my fellow teachers and parent is there to man the booth for our school. So I wanna lend some support. Support. I may do a couple of video clips of the booth or what it is that she set up and then I'll end the vlog for today and I'll leave this as a two-day vlog and I'll include Thursday and Friday on a separate vlog like I usually do. I split up my weeks. That's what I've been doing lately. But soon I'm going to be doing daily vlogging because I am participating once again in Vlogmas. If you do not know what Vlogmas is, Vlogmas is when YouTubers go out and make videos every day from December 1st all the way to December 25th, which is Christmas Day. I did it for the first time last year. It was a lot of fun. Yes, it is a lot of work, but I'm looking forward to doing it again. And this year, day one of Vlogmas is on a Saturday and I will be going to the expo, which is a teacher conference. Last year I went, it was day two of Vlogmas. This year happens to be the first day. So if you liked my Vlogmas from last year, which to tell you the truth, I was binge watching all my Vlogmas videos over the weekend. And I'm like, wow, I think I've gotten more comfortable in front of the camera in one year than it was last year because last year I was like, Wow, I think I'm a little bit more animated. I don't know. If you agree and if you've been watching me since then, leave a comment down below. Let me know. I hope I'm becoming more animated and more comfortable speaking to you all. But yeah, I'm looking forward to that. All right. So I got to get going because the event starts in about 10 minutes and I just got to drive my car closer to the school and walk on over. So let's go over there and then we'll end it for today. See you there. So it's now after the school event and I completely was not able to end a video there because I was assisting the teacher that I went to support. So I want to end the vlog now. I am not home yet. I'm actually at Target. I had to stop by to get some things, but I'm getting ready to check out now. And yeah, I just wanted to let you know that it's been a pretty good two days and i hope you've enjoyed coming along with me if you did don't forget to hit the like button leave a comment down below let me know what you thought or any questions you may have also if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing and hitting the bell for notifications so you don't miss any future videos i hope you have a beautiful magical day and don't forget to smile
Hello dreamers, wishers, and magical thinkers. Thank you so much for making it to the very end of this video and for showing your support. If you'd like to subscribe, you can do so by clicking on my picture down here. You can also check out my latest videos here and here. Don't forget to believe in the magic that's inside you because you are capable of great things. See you next time.